Hello, and welcome to the Aircraft Spruce product review. I'm Ryan Deck, Avionics Sales Manager here at Aircraft Spruce, and in this presentation, we'll be looking inside the Canad 406 Compact ELT. Now, Canad offers a wide range of 406 ELT solutions, but the Canad 406 Compact best meets the needs for an affordable ELT for the general aviation market. First, we'll talk about the size of the Canad 406 Compact. The physical unit is 3.9 inches wide, 3.4 inches high, and 5.5 inches deep, weighing in at 1.95 pounds. By looking at the front of the unit, you will find the female B and C antenna connector, three position switch with arm off and on setting, visual red light indicator below the switch, and lastly, the DIN 12 circular connector, which can be used to connect to the Canad remote switch or can be used to program the unit. On the back side of the unit is the programming information and inspection label for the ELT. Aircraft Spruce offers two different part numbers for this unit. The first is a USA version, pre-programmed for USA registered aircraft, and secondly, an international version for aircraft registered outside the USA. This version can be programmed once the country and method of programming has been given to us by the end user. Now we will look inside the Canad 406 Compact Kit. First is the mounting bracket with Velcro strap and mounting hardware on the left. As an option, a universal mounting bracket is available giving more mounting patterns as shown on the right. Next is the RC200 remote control panel. As with all 406 ELTs, a remote switch is required in the installation. This remote switch has three positions, on, arm, reset and test, as well as a red light to indicate when the ELT is on. The remote switch uses a 9-pin connector and is included in the connector kit. All that is required to wire the remote switch to the ELT is three 24 gauge wires which must be purchased separately and is listed as an accessory on the Aircraft Spruce Canad 406 compact product webpage. The last two items in the box is a DIN 12 connector which will wire to the ELT and the Canad installation manual and programming documentation. The only other item needed that is not included in the box is an external 406 ELT antenna. Now because the ELT uses the 406 megahertz frequency, the old ELT antenna must be replaced. Canet offers one box for the 406 compact kit and then allows the user to select what antenna is needed based on the aircraft speed. The ANT200 is a dual frequency 406 and 121.5 megahertz WIP antenna rated for a max airspeed of up to 250 knots, where the ANT300 is a three frequency adding the military 243 MHz frequency rod antenna rated for a max speed of up to 300 to 350 knots. You can use your existing coax cable for both antennas as they use a female BNC connector. For new installations, you can order coax cable and BNC connectors. The Canad 406 Compact has a single automatic G-switch that can be mounted in both fixed wing and helicopter applications and offers key features to reduce the installation time and maintenance costs. These include not having to wire anything to aircraft power as the Canad Compact is self-contained via its single long-life six-year battery. You also will not have to wire an audio buzzer to the Canad Compact as it is built into the unit. For two-wire ELT remote switch installations, Canad offers the RC102 remote switch as an option. Lastly, for fleet operations, Canad has an optional programming dongle which will allow the user to change the programming on the ELT with the PR600 programming kit. This concludes our presentation of the Canad 406 Compact ELT. For more information, pricing, or to purchase a unit, you can visit us at www.aircraftspruce.com and in the product information search box, you can type in Canad Compact. If you have any other questions or would like to see another product shown on our video review, you can email me at ryandeck at aircraftspruce.com.